Well, hello there, friends. Summer's still here, and man, it's hot out there. We make a cold soup, the gazpacho. This is gonna be amazing. It's a tomato-based soup with all kind of nicely cut vegetables. Super fresh, super easy to do. A child can do it. I promise you, friends, this soup, a child can do it. If he can't do it, send him to me, I'll fix them. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're making gazpacho together right now. It's delicious. Yes, friends, I am not kidding. It's going to be a quick recipe. <laughs> I'm not even cooking anything today. <laughs> Beautiful gazpacho, it's summer. Oh, we gotta make it, we gotta make a cool soup. So first, friends, I'm gonna make a little salsa. Then I'm gonna put it in a, in a bowl, and we're gonna bind it with a little bit of olive oil, red onion. Now, the only time you're gonna spend, friends, is doing a little chopping and dicing. And I know that's gonna take a little time, friends, but look, look how beautiful it is, dice. And, and people are asking me all the time, do you get somebody to do it for you? No, I do it, I like it. It's too, Therapeutic. 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 Is that how you say it? <laughs> He's laughing. He's always laughing at me. Uh, a, a little bit of red. <laughs> Therapeutic. <laughs> Forget it. I'm not going to try. Uh, uh, red pepper, orange pepper, whatever color pepper you got. Small dice. That's the secret, my friends. They got to be small dice, right? What else you put in here? We're going to put a little bit of hot sauce, a little bit. We don't want to put a lot. Just a little bit, a little bit. And then we're going to put some uh, uh, olive oil. I'm using the garlic olive oil. You know, I always tell you, this is my favorite olive oil. And I, I really, really, really like it. So that's what I'm using. A little bit of black pepper. And for salt, I'm going to use fleur de sel. If you have never tried fleur de sel, friends, I highly recommend you try it. It's amazing. Fleur de sel. Fantastic. It really is. Otherwise, use a good salt. Use a good uh, Mediterranean sea salt. Um, use a good, whatever salt makes you happy. You see, look, look, look. Pretty, right? Pretty, right? No big deal. It was not difficult to do. Smells amazing because it's the garlic olive oil. And, uh, and I highly recommend it. Look at this. Right? You can make this in advance. And now we're going to make the soup. You're not going to believe how easy that is, friends. All right? So, the soup. I got... Tomato juice, V8, whatever makes you happy. I got about six cups of it right there. I'm going to put a, a, some garlic that I smashed very, very fine. You can do, you can use a garlic, use a garlic press. All right? Smash it on your, on your curtain board so it's pureed. Eh? Salt, you got to be careful because if you're buying tomato juice, if you whatever you're buying, friends, uh, it's going to have a lot of sodium already, okay? I checked this guy right there. It has 130 milligram per 8 ounce. So it's a lot of salt in here. Put a little more if you want, but not too much. <laughs> you're going to say, that's not much. Exactly, not too much. Uh, friends, I'm not sure you're going to be able to find this because uh, I always have to order it at the grocery store. It's a white Worcestershire sauce. They call it marinade for chicken, but it's a white Worcestershire sauce. If you can find it, it's awesome. Uh, and also, it's got plenty of salt. So you put a little bit of it in there. You measure it carefully. <laughs> All right. It's so simple, you're not going to believe it. A little bit of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. How much you put in? That much. And then you mix it up. Now, really, it's so simple, my friends. And then you test it. So you test it to make sure... It's to your flavor. Now, it's gonna, if you leave it a little while, then it's going to taste better because the garlic will have an opportunity to marry and flavor everything. Okay, so we're going to test it and see how it goes. I could drink the whole bowl. It could use a little more salt. So we're going to put that. And you know what? I could use a little more lemon because I'm not really testing it. I want to be able to test lemon, and you know what? I don't test this either. So I can put a little bit more of it out there. All right, so friend, that's the way I would like you to cook. Go in there, look at the ingredient, and then test it. And say to yourself, can I taste the lemon? Can I taste this? Can I taste this? I could drink the whole thing. Test it. 
Test it, test it, test it, test it. Make sure it's good to your liking, friends. Nobody else is liking as you. You're doing it. How do you serve this? I'll show you. Very simple, huh? Friends, you watch. We're going to do this very simple. All right, all right, let's remove all this stuff out of there so I'm not in front of the camera. We're going to pour this. No, I don't know how that's going to pour. I bet it's going to not. You know, it's one of those things that doesn't pour, right? You have one of those things you pour, no matter how slow you do it, how nice you do it, it doesn't pour. But, you know, I know it later it's going to pour. So here you go, friends. You pour a little. This, on a summer night, as a little appetizer for a dinner party, friends, I promise you, they're going to go, whoa. If they don't, don't invite them again. <laughs> so long, friends. I made a little, oh, you know what? Let me do the inside first. We're going to put that salsa over there. If you can make this in advance, it's good. Put as much or as little as you want in this, of this. You know, you can put a little more than this. You know, I th let me see. Let me look. Okay, I think it's enough. But... Put more, put a little, you know, I like to work with an ice cream scoop because it makes it a little neat, but I bet by the time I go in there, it's not going to be that neat. We're going to go in there. Hey, you, stay in the middle. You see, it didn't do much. Let's put another one. What do you think? More we put in, the better off we are, friends. Okay, because this is what's going to make the soup. So it didn't stay exactly in the middle. That's okay. It's still going to be nice. Now we, t oh, look at this. Mamma mia. I'm telling you, my friends. I can't, I, you can't take me out anywhere. Look at this. Okay, now we're, now we're better, right? So, I made a little mixture. I use it in a lot of my soups, even the hot soup I use it. This, what I did, friends, I took some uh, beautiful sour cream. I added some heavy whipping cream, a little bit of the hot sauce, salt and pepper. I mixed it all up, I put it in a squeeze bottle. And then what you want to do, you squeeze it, you keep it about like that, and you want to make sure before you put it in your soup that it works, and you're going to put little dots. Look, a child could do this, friends. You see? A child could do this. You see? And so all of a sudden, it's turning a, a really simple preparation into more of an elegant preparation. And the beauty about the, 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 the sour cream and the whipped cream and the thing together, you gotta eat it all together like this, my friend. And let me tell you, <laughs> wow, mm, you're gonna love it. Mm. I promise you, friends, it's elegant, it's easy to do, and I know you're gonna love it. Make it in advance, you have it in the fridge. Dinner party, perfect appetizer for the summer. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring the bell. Thanks for watching, friends. Mmm, it's delicious. Mm mmm. Why? Mmm. -hmm. Delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Wow.